Hey, what's going on, Pwn Dogs? Bo HD here. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome back to another installment of Unboxing Haul with Arlo the Phone Dog. If you've watched a previous episode, you're probably gonna know that Arlo's gonna come and go. So if you're here for the dog, which probably most of you are, just keep in mind that he'll be coming and going as he sees fit. I'm not gonna make him stay over here. That's just cruel. Now, for those of you who are here for the tech, we have plenty of tech to unbox and share with all of you. And once again, uh, we're gonna place links in the description of this video to everything that we have talked about and unboxed here for you today. With that said, let's get started. Gotta get my trusty old boxing knife. Key Smart with Tile Smart Location and Key Catch, magnetic key hanger. So Key Catch is very simple. It is a magnetic key hanger. You attach this little accessory to your keys and it features a magnet, so you can uh, hang up your keys on any magnetic surface, any metallic surface, where a magnet would traditionally stick to. That's pretty cool, but the, the star of the show is Key Smart, which is what we have right here. So I believe this product launched on like Indiegogo or some crowdfunding site, but basically what it does is it's, it's a piece of metal that's supposed to keep all your keys nice and tidy and flat, so it doesn't, uh, they don't get jumbled up in your pocket. But what's cool and, and techy about this product is that it features a tile tracking device. So you'll never lose or misplace your keys again. So this is it right here. It's pretty thin, portable, uh, not much weight to it. You just have to unscrew one end, it looks like, and attach however many keys you want. There's even an included bottle opener, which is nice. Oh, and there's also a little LED flashlight at the end, but it looks like this unit has no power whatsoever, so I can't demo that for you. The Key Smart holds up to 10 keys. It uses Bluetooth for tracking purposes, and the app works with iOS and Android devices. Um, and you can, it looks like, even uh, locate your keys on a map and know exactly where they are at all times. Zendir, wireless charging pad with Qi compatibility. So this looks like a pretty uh, standard Qi wireless charging mount. It is a uh, 10 watt, so it, it will charge your devices fast. Oh. All right, so yeah, this is it. This is the Zendir 10 watt fast charging wireless charging pad. It has an anti-slip surface here, which is kind of nice, texturized feel. It uses a micro USB charging cable which is uh, okay, I guess. It smells like new shoes. It's made in China. I can't imagine this costing too much, so if you're looking for a wireless charging pad, check out the link in the description. This one. I've been waiting a while for this guy to arrive. This is the Matthias Wireless Aluminum Keyboard. I was gonna make a separate video with this space gray aluminum keyboard as well as several other space gray products like uh, a mouse, trackpad, all that stuff. The idea was to offer several third party space gray products uh, for all of you because Apple wasn't selling space gray accessories unless you purchase a super expensive iMac Pro, which I didn't wanna do and I felt like many of you guys didn't want to have to do in order to get these space gray products. But after many complaints from users, uh, Apple decided to start selling the Space Gray accessories individually, so now you can go buy them, which basically ruined my plans to make a video with this guy. Ooh. This is a beautiful keyboard. Uh, it's super lightweight. The top has kind of that cool to the touch feel because it's metal, it's aluminum. You have black keys. It's also big enough to support a numeric keypad, keypad, which is right here. Now, if I just give it a couple little tests here. There seems to be good travel. Uh, you know, it's obviously going for a thin look here. It's not a mechanical keyboard by any means, but um, the travel is, is definitely better than something like the MacBook Pro keyboard, which has the butterfly keys, which are pretty awful. This is by no means a full review, and it's very possible there could be connectivity issues because this is wireless. Uh, but so far, it seems like this is a very solid option for those of you who are in the market for a wireless aluminum space gray keyboard. This keyboard was actually sent to us via a Canadian site called Mercanet.com. So I'll place a link to their listing in the description of this video. What's next? What's next? Let's keep her going. Hey, we have another Zendir product. Ooh, this is a big 
external battery from Zendir. It is the A6 PD 20,100 milliamp hour external battery. Now I do want to preface this by saying we did review or include several other of Zendir's external battery packs in a previous video that I will, I guess, link down below in the description if you're uh, interested in watching that. So this is going to be very similar to those battery packs. It obviously is a little bit bigger. It looks to be a little bit taller. What these battery packs are really known for is for their durability. So they have these really durable plastic and metal build construction uh, that actually can be run over, tossed around without having to worry about damaging the contents. It looks like we have a micro USB port and USB-C port for charging this battery pack up. So whatever cable you have lying around should work. There's also just a standard USB port here for charging all of your devices, whether it be MP3 players, if you, if you still use those, your mobile phone, your tablet, maybe even your laptop. I don't know, whatever you wanna use it for. Now let's unbox this guy. Can I just say how darn cute this little guy is? He, I don't think he's ever been this chill in one of these videos. Usually he's running around here causing trouble. He must be getting old. He's not a pup anymore. Looks like we have the Macau Bluetooth wireless speaker. Cacao. It's a 30 watt speaker. Its name is the Macau Life. And that's about all I know about this product because the box is super minimal, which is actually a good thing because if they spend a lot of their money on the packaging, probably the sound quality would be not very good. I don't know why I gotta smell everything. Yeah, this thing looks really nice actually. It looks like we have a bamboo finish on the front and on the back, and there's a really nice felt uh, cover here with uh, capacitive touch navigation buttons here. Navigation buttons, I'm used to Android. Uh, just capacitive buttons. Looks like you can attach a device to this speaker and charge it up via the USB port. There's also a micro USB port for powering the speaker and a audio port. Let's go ahead and give it a listen, shall we? Powering on, ready to pair, paired. There we go, it was that easy. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Uh, lots of low end, lots of bass. It gets loud too. Uh, yeah, Macau, 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 Macau. I'm not gonna cacao. I'm not gonna park cacao. I'm not gonna. This is the Best Tech 8 AC outlet surge protector power strip with six USB ports. This is it. We have eight AC outlets. We have six USB ports here, and it all kind of comes in this tower-like design. I think you can get different finishes. I have the white version, as you can see here. It's made of plastic, so you know it doesn't like have the greatest, you know, high quality build materials. But it's gonna be sitting on your floor, probably out of sight. So that doesn't really matter. There's these different buttons here that can turn the power on and off for these different outlets. There's also a reset button if you ever need it. The bottom has little grippy pads so it doesn't slide around on a desk or a floor. There is even some cable management here with some Velcro straps for the cable. That's pretty cool. If you're looking for a surge protector power strip, you should check out this Best Tech product here. Once again, I will place it down below in the description. Also included in this box is a very unusual product, uh, but it is pretty techy, I would say, because it requires power. <laughs> Uh, it's called the Collar Perfect, the perfect solution to iron out the wrinkles in your life. So if I'm not mistaken, this is like a portable iron that is used to iron out little wrinkles in your shirts, mostly like the collar, to keep your collar nice and straight. It's small enough to fit in a suitcase, a backpack even. You don't need water and there's six heat settings. Yeah, this is it. So it has a, like a wing-like design that folds up and down to fit over your collar or clothing. Let's go head to the studio and test this out. Okay, so as you can see here, all we have to do is just fold the little clamp over the collar. Uh, the shirt I have here isn't the most wrinkly, but you know, you get the idea. It heats up fast and it gets really hot and uh, it does seem to work. It does seem to straighten out wrinkles. And I imagine if you had a better workspace, like an actual ironing board, this process would be a lot more easy. There is one more box I do want to show you guys. I already opened it as you can see here, but uh, I like what, what I found inside. These are the X-Shock Soul Electronics 
wireless Bluetooth earphones. And um, what's cool about these is that they are white and clear. So they kind of have a different take on wireless earbuds, which are usually black, solid, not transparent, completely opaque. There you go. As you can see, it has a white case. The earbuds themselves are white and there is some clear plastic to actually see the little circuit boards and everything inside, which is really cool. I'm not gonna open them now because I'm probably gonna include these in a best tech episode. But uh, if you like what you see, look down below. So there are two more products left. The next product is a, it's a vacuum because vacuums are like Bluetooth speakers in 2018. They are everywhere. Now, in last month's Best Tech episode, we actually reviewed a D-Bot EcoVac N79 vacuum, I believe. And uh, it was kind of a budget-friendly autonomous vacuum. But this thing is is similar in, in the sense that it's an EcoVac D-Bot vacuum. But this is like the holy grail, the premium Dyson version. This is the D-Bot 901, and it has a lot more tracking features, mapping features, and suction capabilities. Oh yeah. Here it is. The D-Bot 901. The the most apparent design feature, I guess, is this little thing here, this little hockey puck sitting on top. This is like the the all-encompassing eye. It sees everything, it tracks everything. And uh yeah. Okay, some of the features include support for the Alexa Digital Assistant. There's virtual mapping, so it'll scan your home and create a virtual map in the application, which, work, which works for iOS and Android. You can choose different cleaning areas, like different rooms in your house for this robot to enter or not enter. It looks like you can also create virtual boundaries, so you don't need to create or like set up some separate sensor to block it from moving past. And it costs about $400, which is like kind of high end, but also definitely cheaper than some other offerings from Roomba or Dyson. And I'm not gonna bore you with some of the accessories, but you get like a charging dock, you get a bunch of different cleaning brushes uh, and some different filters and instructions. This is the BenQ EX350IR X series curved monitor. Oh, yeah, it's pretty heavy too. Okay, there's lots of styrofoam and lots of different random pieces here. Oh, that that was that was not not very sexy. Okay, this is it. This is the curved BenQ monitor. It looks absolutely stunning. The bezels are incredibly thin. Uh, there is a, a, th a relatively thick bezel at the bottom, but it looks like you can string multiple monitors together and, and create a really immersive 180 degree field of view. It's also hard to see here, but I like how the stand is metallic and the monitor can be lowered or raised. So this is a 35 inch screen with a 3440 by 1440 resolution with 1800R curvature. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's considerably curved. It features HDR for gaming and uh, media consumption. There's a USB-C port for like an all-in-one connection. You could hook up a MacBook super easily. It also has AMD FreeSync technology and 100 Hertz refresh for like super smooth latency free gaming, obviously not latency free, but the latency is gonna be very minimal. So you're gonna have super smooth animations and graphics when you're playing games. It also looks like it supports cinematic frame rates, 24p, 25p, and 30p. I'm so looking forward to testing this monitor out. I actually have a setup tour video right behind the camera. Uh, there's a desk there that I'm gonna, gonna swap out monitors with and film and share with all of you. I'm super excited for it, so I hope you are too. All right, with that said, thanks so much for watching and watching to the end of this video. It means a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know which product you are most excited for in a comment down below. Stay tuned for our Best Tech series where we uh, will include probably at least a few of these products. So I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com and this is Arlo, the unofficial, official phone dog. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya. Say bye, Arlo. Say bye. Say bye to them. You got to say bye. You got to say bye. Yes, oh yes, he's a good boy.